biggest threat to climate change prevention in my area, as in many others, is a lack of awareness. If we continue to treat climate change as an inevitable, unsolvable problem, or worse still, ignore it entirely, things will only get worse. I'm from a farming background, and for me it often feels as though farmers and climate activists are being pitted against each other. That you can no longer be a farmer and simultaneously someone who cares about the planet. There's a lot of uncertainty about what the future looks like for the next generation of farmers, and a just transition is paramount in creating that future. A future where farmers can help protect the land they've worked with their whole lives. A huge concern of mine is that we will completely fail to achieve a true just transition without open and honest dialogue with people from all walks of life, particularly those from rural, low socioeconomic and marginalised backgrounds, because we need to bring everybody forward with us in the fight for climate justice. One of my biggest concerns about climate change is the people in underdeveloped countries that we have exploited are facing social injustice and are being left behind. One of my major concerns for climate change is the devastation effects it's having on our oceans. Already, major ecosystems are being destroyed, and if we keep going down this path, species that play a vital role in our oceans will die off. My personal concerns about climate change are that developing countries who we have exploited are already suffering from the climate crisis. That I will live in the devastation of what we have already done and that everyone after me won't actually get to live. My personal concerns about climate change is the lack of climate action from the general population and from our leaders. MAPA countries are currently living in devastation and we're not too far off it. We need to inform people, particularly in rural areas, of what must be improved, but also the difference we as a country have already made. We have the technology and methods needed to make a change, and now is the time to get more people involved. Not all farmers can afford to make sustainable changes, such as going organic, as the price structures stand. While the cartel of factories and supermarket chains have complete control over the price the farmer gets for their produce. We have an opportunity now to encourage and incentivize farmers to make changes in how they farm. My hope would be that society will come together to develop a plan and make sustainable changes. Unity will always be a catalyst for change, but this cannot be achieved without rural communities like mine. And we need to be properly supported and connected in order for this to be feasible. We can't skirt around the topic of agriculture any longer. We can reduce emissions and protect biodiversity and we can achieve a just transition, but we need action. The problem in my area is a lack of climate action, education and awareness. For example, for farmers, they're being asked to change their methods that they've used for decades. But do they really understand why? If they don't understand, then we're going to be met with confusion and resistance and we don't really have time for that. The opportunity we have is that every single day, people all around me go into school along with myself ready to learn. We're, we're supposed to learn and we don't learn about what is happening around us, the devastation that is happening and what we can do to fight for our planet and why. The infrastructure is in place across Ireland to create a sustainable transport system. We just need to develop it. We must reduce domestic car usage on the roads and switch to greener transport methods. I would like the government to know that we cannot afford to sacrifice meaningful action for the sake of upholding the status quo. If they truly believe they are promoting climate justice, then people need to be prioritised. Because climate action that is not accessible to all is inherently unsustainable. I ask policymakers to listen to young people and people who need the help the most and after climate change before it is too late. On both a local and national level, young people's voices aren't taken seriously enough when it comes to the decision-making process on climate issues. Climate strikers in Cork are thanked by politicians in their speeches, yet they don't give us a seat at the table as equals. We're invited to empty consultations that we never see the fruit of, which is so beyond frustrating because we demand more than a pat on the head and more empty promises. If I could share a message with the government, I would remind them that not only are us young people the future, you should not fail to forget that we are also the now. The government can't afford to treat changing farming in Ireland as something that can be solved with a quick fix solution. Change takes time and while time is something we're fairly short of at the moment, the future of farming in Ireland needs to be considered properly and looked at as a long-term project to allow farmers to develop to a sustainable way of farming. The solution is to change farming, not stop it, and we must help people adapt to that change. What I would like the government to do is to have compulsory climate action and climate change education programmes for all ages. 
For example, the older generations mightn't have had the same opportunities as I have to learn about climate action and climate change in school. They mightn't fully understand why there's such an urgent need for change, and we don't have time for this. We need every single person to be a part of this change, and to understand the devastation that we could possibly be facing in a very near future, and to understand the devastation that MAPA countries are currently facing right now. My locality cannot do anything until they know that climate change isn't just bad, it is devastating, and we can all do something. We can all demand more. We can all make choices. So inform them, educate them, educate everyone around us, because this is our future. This is my future too.